हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शोमैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टुडे माय सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट डायरेक्ट रिलेटेड टू कंस्ट्रक्शन एज ए साइट इंस्पेक्टर और क्वालिटी पीपल सेफ्टी इज एवरीबॉडीज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मोर ओवर वी आर आल्सो इंस्टॉलिंग सेफ्टी डिवाइस ऑन साइट सो वी शुड नो वाई वी आर इंस्टॉलिंग वी शुड नो द पर्पज एज ए एज एन इंजीनियर और इंस्पेक्टर सो दिस इज ए सब्जेक्ट ऑफ बेसिक इंटरेस्ट industrial fire protection devices and fire alarm system how are they what are the types we will discuss little bit in detail today what is fire protection device fire protection devices are a critical component of any commercial building especially complex structures just as hospitals hotel and school campuses consulting with an experienced fire alarm system company that provides commercial fire alarm system is the best way to know what types of fire protection devices a building requires all fire alarm system devices and components should be ul listed purchased from a reputed fire protection company i'm discussing here some common types of fire protection devices fire alarm control panels fire alarm control panels should be selected around the needs of the building available in conventional or addressable controls addressable fire alarm system can pinpoint the exact location of the source of a fire down to a particular room on a particular floor of a high rise building careful consideration should be taken in selecting the right type of fire alarm control panels as these are controlling components of any fire alarm system there are many initiating device which are program to activate the alarm such as smoke and gas detectors devices water flow monitors and fire alarm pool stations smart and sophisticated devices are common in modern structures improving to save lives notification devices notification devices in fire uh, alarm system provide early warning to occupants of smoke gas or fire notification devices include visual alerts such as strobe lights audible alerts such as voice messaging system which provide clear evacuation instructions to the occupants audible notification devices are helpful in large and crowded building to prevent panic for safe evacuation initiating devices notification devices fire alarm control panels all are heart of any fire alarm system of many additional fire protection devices are available initiation sensory devices in hvac system provide a high level of sensitivity and early warning with the ability to shut down air flow to prevent the spread of toxic fumes elevator recall system prevent people from entering elevators they may be trapped and move the elevators to a predetermined ground floor how a fire detection system works fire detection systems use sensors to detect the presence of fire smoke or heat in a building smoke detectors heat detectors and flame detectors are common components that trigger alarms when signs of fires are detected now you guys should have a question what is ul listed we have seen it even in our power extension code also ul the full term is underwriters laboratories ul testing laboratories company the ul listed mark is a tire of ul approval for stand alone consumables that have undergone rigorous testing by underwriters laboratories ul listed means the product meets nationality recognized standard for sustainability and safety so you can see a small informations about this laboratory this enterprise is a global safety science company headquartered in northbrook illinois composed of three organization evel research institutes evel standards and engagement and evel solutions this information i have collected from wikipedia you can read the remaining information if you like let us move to the types of fire protection systems we have available one is fire detection system 
and another is fire suppression system fire extinguishers passive fire protection system so why fire protection system are important first of all fire protection systems are important because it has some specialized equipment and measures designed to detect suppress and mitigate fires in buildings and facilities they are essential for safeguarding lives property and assets by providing early detection and intervention during fire emergencies fire detection system it serves as a first line of defense against fires by identifying their presence at the earliest possible stage here are some key components of fire detection system smoke detectors heat detectors flame detectors and fire alarm control panels so smoke detectors are basically as the name uh, suggests you know it is to sense the presence of smoke particles in the air there are two main types of smoke detectors ionization smoke detectors which are more sensitive to flaming fires and photoelectric smoke detectors which are better at detecting smoldering fires heat detectors are activate when a specific temperature threshold is exceeded indicating the presence of fire fixed temperature heat detectors respond to a constant temperature while a rate of rise heat detectors trigger alarms based on the rate of which the temperature increases flame detectors use sensors to detect the presence of flames providing additional confirmation of a fire event fire alarm control panels these panels receive signals from detectors and activate audible and visual alarms to alert occupants to evacuate the building or the facility this is fire detection system you see the components there are detectors and also the panel fire suppression system these are designed to extinguish or control fires quickly and efficiently here is in depth look at the different types of fire suppression system first is sprinkler system sprinkler systems are most common type of fire suppression system they consist of a network of pipes with sprinkler heads installed throughout the building when heat activates a sprinkler head water is discharged on to the fire suppressing its growth and sometime it is extinguish the fire also and it is preventing to spread gaseous suppression system this system where inert gases or chemical agents to extinguish fires by reducing the oxygen concentration or inhibiting the chemical reactions that sustain combustion gaseous suppression system are commonly used in areas where water may cause damage to the sensitive equipment or materials foam systems foam systems combine foam concentrate with water to create a foam blanket that suppresses flammable liquid fires the foam smothers the flames and cools the fuel surface preventing reignition sprinkler system we have some types of sprinkler photos for you for your information and knowledge fire sprinkler head components you can see a sprinkler has basically a temperature sensitive gas bulb and there is a frame to hold everything and there is a deflector when the water will sprinkle and it will deflect the water downwards you can see the glass bulb property quick response is 3 mm bulb and standard response is 5 mm bulb and the bulb operating temperature is 57 degrees to 182 degrees centigrade as we set it or the appropriate bulb we need to put based on the facility or building safe temperature pumps the pumps are used in fire protection system to deliver the water or the extinguishing chemical to the over the fire jockey pump electrical motor driven duty heavy duty pump and diesel engine driven it is a standby pump always uh, with a fire system whenever required we can start and use it for extinguishing the fire valves 
the valves are very important because this is the one holding the high pressure water hoses the types of valve used for the fire safety is gate valve swing check valve one way flow butterfly valve wafer check valve also for one way flow there are ball valves water check valve os and y gate valve and alarm valve these are more valves for the used in fire safety you can go through it fire extinguishers fire extinguishers are portable devices that allow occupants to suppress small fires quickly here are some primary types of fire extinguishers and their applications water extinguishers suitable for class a fires involving ordinary combustibles like wood paper or cloth related fires dry chemical extinguishers effective for class a b c fires this is very uh, extensively used actually involving flammable uh, liquids gases and electrical equipment fires co2 extinguishers ideal for b and c type of fire as they displace oxygen and extinguish fire without leaving residue foam extinguisher suitable for class a and b fires as the foam creates a barrier between the fuel and oxygen and extinguishing the fire fire extinguishers classifications class a hazards are ordinary combustible material cloth wood paper rubber plastic etc so just last slide i was discussing class a b c d type of fire so you can see the details over here so maximum travel distance for class a extinguishers are 75 feet class b is flammable liquids or gases gasoline natural gases etc it can it can travel 50 feet class c is electrical or machinery electrical cables type of fire based on class a and b hazards class d is for flammable metals 75 from the hazard and class k is cooking oils and fats it is can be sprayed 30 feet away you can see the types of uh, fire extinguishers and how it looks fire extinguishers weighs more than 18.14 kg top of extinguisher cannot be more than 3.5 feet from the ground bottom of the extinguisher must be at least 4 inch of the ground extinguishers which are weighs less than 18.14 kg or 40 pound the top of the extinguisher cannot be more than 5 feet from the ground bottom of the extinguisher 4 inch from the ground so Uh, installation is part of construction so we should know this data also it will be uh, suggested by the drawing fire drawings and also the manufacturer in both cases this includes extinguishers in cabinets but it does not include wheeled extinguishers passive fire protection system passive fire protection system are designed to contain or slow the spread of fire and smoke within a building here is an overview of common passive fire measures fire rated doors and partitions so these are the components used to protect fire passively so fire rated doors and partitions are constructed from fire resistance material and are designed to withstand the passage of fire and smoke for a specified period allowing occupants to escape safely fire dampers installed within hvac duct fire dampers prevent the spread of fire and smoke through the building ventilation system by closing automatically when triggered by heat fire resistance material such as fire rated walls ceilings floors provide additional protection against the spread of fire and smoke in summary a combination of fire detection suppression extinguishing and passive protection system is essential for comprehensive fire safety in buildings there are fire protection engineer company who can design the fire proofing system for your house or facility generally we are taking help from them they generate drawings they will uh, advise you the material and installation and implementation of the materials fire hydrant system a connection point by which fire fighters can tap into a water supply it is a component of active fire protection so fire hydrant system 
टू टाइप्स इंडोर फायर हाइड्रेंट एंड एक्सटर्नल फायर हाइड्रेंट हाइट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर फायर हाइड्रेंट यू कैन स्टॉप दिस लाइट अगेन इंस्टॉलेशन इज पार्ट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इंस्पेक्टर शुड इंस्पेक्ट द इंस्टॉलेशन सो दैट्स वाई आई मेड दिस वीडियो हियर यू कैन सी द इंस्टॉलेशन आइडियल एंड टिपिकल इंस्टॉलेशन द स्पेसिफिक इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसीजर यू विल फाइंड फ्रॉम योर प्रोजेक्ट ड्रॉइंग यू सी द डिस्टेंस ऑफ हाइड्रेंट्स इन अ बिल्डिंग टाइप्स ऑफ फायर हाइड्रेंट सिस्टम यू कैन फाइंड फ्रॉम हियर it looks red we know this it look like a old post office boxes but it is actually the opening of water connections fire hose cabinet here we fold the hose and keep it safely for immediate and emergency use these reels are located provide a reasonably accessible and controlled supply of water to combat a potential fire risk the length of a fully extended fire hose is 36 meter with a diameter of 19 mm outside diameter the appliances are designed to deliver as a minimum of 0.33 liter of water per second fire cabinet is designed for theft and vandalism protection in public areas and buildings to safely store fire equipment such as fire hose rack assembly fire hose reel and fire extinguisher components of fire hose cabinet are fire hose rack hose reels hose nozzles and hose connection location of hose connection hose connections and hose stations shall be unobstructed and shall be located not less than 3 feet or more than 5 feet above the floor number and sizes of stand pipe separate stand pipes shall be provided in each required exit stairway stand pipes shall be at least 4 inch in size stand pipes that are part of a combined system in a building that are partially sprinkled shall be at least 6 inch in size or 150 mm so guys that's all for the detailed overview of the fire hose alarming system and um, the fire protection devices thanks for watching my video if you like the way of my teaching please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please share it to your friend and hit the like button signing off for today showman